Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the 404 page. A 404 page is basically an error message saying that the existing page that was requested, requested is not existing anymore. Now, the goal with the 404 page is that we try to convert website visitors who have ended up there into buyers. So there's a couple of things we can do there. I want to show start with a bad example. Um, on this one, basically, it says this page is currently unavailable and try again later. It does not really move you um, any further into the store, into the website. What they have here is obviously the navigation, but it does not actively move you forward. And the opportunity that you have to um, have a website visitor and get them into uh, becoming a potential customer is quite high while they're already on this page. So instead of showing this message, you should give them a couple of options to stay on the site. One way, as they do here, for instance, is give them a search bar. So they have a search bar here, but as the eyes are basically on this message down here, you give them a search bar that they can search for your product. That is a good start, but there's more to, that you can do. Now in this store, for instance, as there's still four or four page cannot be found, we apologize for that. So don't blame the customer that he typed in the wrong URL or address. Um, apologize that they can't find what they're looking for. And then basically tell them what they can do next. Always be clear and focus, um, try to get them focused on what they can do next. So either use the search bar above. That would be here. Use the menu there. Or use popular collections below. So there is four collections there, which with one click would bring them in the right collection. Another option or another site um, basically does not really say that it's an error, just lost your way. Perhaps you can help to find you. And Birchbox does the same. They offer two different collections here where people can just click and then get deeper into the site, into the store. Misguided does something similar. So also they apologize. And then let's get you back on track. And then they have a couple of collections down there. And another example here is they basically have the same. They have instead listed on um, their bestsellers instead of collections. So there is another way to do that with just products instead of um, collections. You can also have just a simple link that takes them back to the home page. That might work either. Now, some advanced strategies would be that you offer a discount code as an apology for the non-existing page. So basically, you would say, sorry, if you can't find the page, here's 10% and continue shop shopping here, something like that. Another way is that you um, capture the email address there for asking them to subscribe for the newsletter. Um, with that, you might use a lead magnet or a tripwire um, offer to provide them more value. Um, so that's a good way to do that. Um, I would not primarily try to do this because people might not know what your site is about. You can edit the 404 page in your theme, either manually in editing the 404.liquid file in your Shopify theme, or you can also use um, apps from the App Store, which I have listed in the, in the PDF, um, that basically do the same, but that's basically for non-developers. So that's another way to do it. Now, generally, you should keep your store clean of four or four pages. It means if you delete a product or something like that, you should have a forwarder to a new page or collection. So if possible, avoid four or four overall. Um, it still might happen, um, even if somebody's just typing in the wrong URL. Then obviously you want to catch these people with these strategies to convert into buyers. Now, one way to avoid 404s is that you, for instance, use an app like SEO Manager, which I will mention in a later video, and they have a link manager. So what this tool does, this app does, it scans your whole site for um, URLs for 404 errors, as you can see here. So that works automatically in the background. Once a day, you get an email or you just go into the app and then you look for what's the broken path. So what was the URL or the address that was used to create a 404 page? And then you can either <clears throat> decide you want to accept that this URL will be forwarded to either the home page or any other page, or you just want to delete it. So for instance, if you have a product that's not existing anymore, then you might um, have a different path here, taking them to the collection with similar products. 
or you want to just take them to the home page. And then whenever somebody uses this broken path, they won't see a 404 page that will be automatically forwarded to whatever URL you have in here. So SEO manager is a very good way to do that. Also, it will help you with um, SEO rankings because if you have a lot of 404 pages, Google will probably not like that. That's it for this video. See you in the next video. Mm-hmm.